Welcome everyone to Stock Talk for August 5th, 2019. So this is the S&P 500 daily time frame and look at the move that was made today. If you were not looking at the charts today, um, I just can kind of give you a brief overview of what happened. We closed Friday up here. We gap low, lower by the start of the day and we continued on lower throughout the day. Now what's concerning about this chart, not only do we move lower, but we're moving lower with such high acceleration. Talked about in the past stock talks when the bears have control, which they obviously do when we talked about it two days ago, three days ago, last week, right? In such that they need to see it go down as fast as possible. And this is pretty much as fast as possible because Bulls cannot recover those levels very quickly. Bulls, as you all know, the acronym escalator up, right? They take the steps. They take the escalator. It's slower up. So what they, what bulls want to see is stability at a support line. Looking at today, do we have stability at a support line? The answer is obviously no. We don't have stability. Um, now, did we have stability last Friday? I told everyone the answer is no because we need to see much more from the bulls to hold the $290 spy level right one of the crucial levels as you can see one of the trend line is gone was holding the $290 level instead we gap lower and we continue lower whatever the news is driving this it's fine but the technical pattern and the technical damage continues to be done on these charts and it's telling me hey we're not done here yet there's more potential downside to come all right so right now what we can see here is you see i've modified a couple of lines there's not they're not big modifications i just kind of really color coded them so that everyone can take a look at it and it's more um intuitive so what we can see is yellow lines showing a higher low in 2018, a yellow line showing a higher low in 2019. This was broken, we gap lower, continue on lower. Well, this is very much reminiscent of what we are reminded of in October 2018. Um, with such quick acceleration to the downside, we don't have to expect a bounce. So. I know a lot of people are thinking, well, where's the bounce coming? Where's the bounce going to come from? No one knows. The bounce can come from the last line of defense. In my opinion, for the Bulls, the last line of defense is 278.43. Now, that would be on, in my opinion, a weekly close. But if we can't hold that level, we have big problems in the markets if that occurs. Okay, let me just let me just say that. Uh, but right now, uh, when you have such quick acceleration to the downside, we don't have to find a bottom. Remember, nine out of ten times, you guess the low of where the markets will go, it will be incorrect. And it will be more painful than if you guess it incorrect while it's going higher because we're, we're pushing down so, so quickly. So is the 150 period moving average a support the answer is no it is not a support is the line up here yes it's the lines up here but it is not a support right now until we can see stability off of the support tomorrow the day after tomorrow the day after that the day after that the bulls need to show up way more days than the bears need to show up right now in order for this trend to change okay so you know, uh, I think there. Were, you know, on Friday we closed at the 50 period moving average. Was that a support? No, right? I said the bulls need to show much more strength than doing that. Today we close at 150. It's the same story here. If we close at the 200 tomorrow, it's the same story. Now, if you think about it, right now we're getting into a period of high volatility. Today NQ went down over 4%. Not normal. We talked about how there were algorithmic selling on this day, not normal when we start hugging on the intraday chart, 20 period moving average, and we can't get above that. What? That's institutional algorithmic selling. That was the start of the major down move. As you can see, we don't see an end in sight right now. So currently, this is still on a downtrend until we can see stability. If the bulls were to put up a fight, 278.56 is the major level that I'm looking at. And uh, if you are enrolled in the course, you know why I'm looking at that level 
as a specific support. Okay, so that is that for right now. Again, a little bit similar to what we're having in 2018. Now, no, no two patterns will be identical, right? So we don't have to make this up and down bear flag, right? We can do a different pattern. What's the other pattern if we were to play out to the downside? Continue on lower. And that is what's a little bit distressful or stressful uh, about the markets right, right now is the potential to continue exponentially to the downside. Okay? All right. Are we going to get a snapback at some point in time? Yes. Do we know when that is going to come from? No. Okay. All right. So let's look at um, the VIX or actually TVIX. So we mentioned for TVIX how we were making a series of higher highs and we were looking for a higher low. But with volatility increasing so much, we see that TVIX is significantly elevated over the two major moving averages, the 20 and the 50. So what is this trend? It's on an uptrend, obviously. Where's the resistance? Well, honestly, we can't really see a resistance right now for TVIX. Reason is, I can give this a resistance. I can say that this is a resistance. I can say that this is a resistance. But it's really built off of the fear that develops in the markets. It's really developed off of where the SPY chart is and where the VIX is, rather than actually a actual number of a horizontal resistance. So there's no resistance in sight right now. This is clearly on an uptrend. And again, if we expect an exponential move to the downside this time around for the S&P 500, we expect an exponential move by TVIX to the upside. So again, we can have the ability to see numbers like 30 or 40 in the near future. We saw numbers like 80 during the December correction. Obviously, this is subject to decay, so we might not see 80, but this can certainly go higher than what you expect. So... Um, keeping that all that in mind, you can see that we have a gap area over here. That area can act as support. That ranges from $19 to $20 today. So that is TVIX. All right, let's actually go back to um, the charts over here just to give you a, a slightly different perspective as to what's going on. So let's actually take you to the weekly time frame for the S&P 500 and show you what's been happening. So this is... Just a, a slightly different look at the same chart pattern, right? This is a break of the weekly time frame, a break below, couldn't recover. This, this was the major correction. Here, this was a break of this trend line. Now, have we closed the week? The answer is no. Now, can we come up and back test this yellow line? That's possible. That would be, um, consequently, the resistance line if you think about it right if we do that we don't see any signs of that right now but if you can imagine with increased volatility from where we are right now to where we stand up here is the three percent move with such rapid moves to the downside it is not impossible to see a three percent move to the upside as well so again you have to control your emotions have stop losses ready, especially, especially, I think, in my opinion, if you're playing the opposite trend, which is a bullish take on markets, um, because that would be going against the primary trend, which is down. All right. So uh, be careful here. Um, and so what we can see also here is actually something that's concerning is here's the MACD on the weekly time frame first week in which we're getting uh, a sell signal right from the MACD. So. Okay, let's talk about crude oil. Crude oil's chart hasn't really changed too much as well. What we can see for crude oil is on the daily time frame, we're still below all of the moving averages. We're still below this breakdown candle of 57.91, and we're still below this resistance of 55.75. And as long as we're below all those conditions, this is bare crude oil until we see something otherwise. This is a downtrending pattern in the near term. And I don't see any signs of a reversal. So um, nothing has changed here for crude oil. Nothing has changed for natural gas. This is still a downtrending pattern, constantly getting rejected at the 50 or the 20. There's no reversal in sight in this pattern as well. We just broke into another uh, yearly low. This is actually 
yeah, this is actually a two-year low for natural gas. So look for this to continue on lower. There's no change in pattern here. And for gold, there's no change in pattern for gold. We're at, you can see we hit the resistance. So again, trend lines do work. Uh, when you point to significant trend lines, we close right at resistance of 1479. Um, the next resistance would be up above on the weekly time frame all the way at oh, all the way at around 1550 is your next resistance. So um, again, if we start breaking above that level, look for gold to continue to spike. All right, so a lot of concerning evidence pointing towards more potential downside in broad markets what's the big point here that i want to make to everyone and to the members in which we're monitoring the stock market very closely please do not try to guess the low i'd much rather see us be stable and then move higher and move above the moving average to have any um view of or a possibility of a bullish stance. But given the gap down today, you can imagine if we start testing this higher low resistance line, and even if we start going higher, look at the amount of resistance that is up ahead now. What the bulls have to contest now is very difficult to move higher at this point in time. So while we can move higher, my point is, Moving higher and going towards all-time highs is going to take quite a bit of work. And with that, thank you everyone for watching this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you have not. Appreciate it and talk to everyone soon.